Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Virgo love prediction reading for August 21st through August 27th. Please keep in mind, this is a gentle read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, loving, kind, sweet, endearing Virgos. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Virgos? Let's see, Virgos. What you got going on? Let's see. The moon, the death card, the five of wands, king of cups, and the two of wands. Hmm. I see the moon card here, and the moon card can represent a Pisces sun sign, but the moon card is all about something that's not real, something that's an illusion, something something that appears one way, but it's really another way. I'm going to tell you what I think this is. Uh, and then I see the death card. There's a transformation that's going on. There's a transformation that's going on, but like I said, this is this is something appearing real, but it's really not. And, and I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think. This is really kind of a different read for me. But, you know, it does happen from time to time, Virgo. But I see the death card, which can represent a Scorpio sun sign, which means transformation. Death card is a Scorpio sun sign. The moon card is a Pisces sun sign representation. Um, they're major arcana cards. Um, but it can mean a, a transformation. I think that um, someone told you something. They told you something, and here's the five of wands that's in the middle of the reading, which is all about conflict, fighting, arguing, uh, can't get it together. Just one, It's just an, a big argument about this situation. I'm going to tell you what the situation is. Someone told you something, you believe them, but now you've seen with this transformation card that they have not changed. They have not transformed. They need to, but they have not changed, and they're fighting about it. I'm going to tell you, this is a King of Cups person, and I'm going to tell you, I think he drinks. I think he's an addict. I think he's an alcoholic. I think your your significant other is an alcoholic, and I do believe that he drinks. He told you that he was going to meetings. He's not been going to meetings. He's told you that. Now, all of a sudden, you see signs of before when he's uh, has has been in his addiction, his alcoholism before. Um, you smell uh, alcohol, but uh, he says it's not. Uh, he comes in the house, he's brushing his teeth before he can even get to you. There's just signs here, but I will say this, you have been fighting about it. You're pushing him to go back to the meetings to get back into his, um, his recovery because he's out of his recovery right now. That's what I see. That's just what I see. Um, this is a King of Cups. He's very emotional. He, he loves you. Uh, oh, he's over the moon. He loves you, but that alcoholism has gotten in his way. Um, it has gotten in his way. If you even look at this card, see him throwing this cup away? That's that cup that he needs to throw away, the alcoholism. Because here is a cup of love that he has for you. He's got deep emotions for you. Deep emotions for you. But he's also insecure. He's insecure and that is one of the reasons why he drinks. You know, there's always an underlining cause of any type of addiction. His addiction is caused by his insecurity. It's caused by his insecurity. Um, and then I see here the two of wands. The two of wands means that you're, you're, you know, you're not comfortable. You're feeling edgy right now because you know that he's back to drinking. You know that he's back to his addiction and you're not comfortable. You're just not comfortable. You, you know, um, you're, you're, you're indecisive whether you should stay or, you know, whether you should go. You're just, you're not comfortable because you understand what's going on. He needs to get some help. You're trying to get him to get some help. He's been telling you for a while though, and he was, he was, he was being, doing very well, but something triggered it. 
and his he, he didn't call his sponsor. I mean, I just see this someone, your significant other has an alcoholism problem. He's an alcoholic. Now, this also means that you can't drink around him as well. And I, I don't I don't know. I don't see it. Hopefully you're not. He's told you that he changed, but he did not. Let's see here. Give me three to five minutes and let me clarify this reading. Let me clarify the reading. Sit back, relax. Give me just three to five minutes. Let's see what the spirit guys want to tell me about this reading. The moon card is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is a moon card here? Sit back, relax, and just give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify. Why is a moon card here for my Virgo spirit guys? Show me spirit guys. Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. This is your emotions back and forth. Back and forth emotions. The alcoholism is what causes this. Um, because you don't know if you can be with an alcoholic. You don't know if they're not, if he's not into or staying with his recovery. It's like, you know, when he's in, on drinking, he's a different person. So now you're going back and forth. Those Your emotions are going back and forth. The moon card, like I said, is something appearing as it's supposed, as you think it is, but it's not. It's, it's, it's an illusion. It's an illusion with him. You think he's sober, but he's not. And now you found out that he's not sober because the signs are back. Let's see why the death card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the death card here for my Virgo? Show me. Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. That's your ultimate goal. You want to transform back into the Ten of Cups. Or I'm not even sure if you guys are married yet, but you want to be a family. You want to be married. You want the happily ever after. That's the transformation that you want. That's the transformation that you want. But you do understand that the only way you can get to that transformation is that he's got to get clean and sober. Not just for a little amount of time, for some time. It's a very difficult journey. And you're not quite sure if you're ready to go on the journey with him. So let's see what the Five of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Five of Wands here for my Virgos? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups means you've got a lot of different options. He does too. And here's the problem. All these options that he has does not keep him on his path. And that is why he has fallen off his path, his recovery path. There's a lot of things that he's doing. There's a lot of people around him. There's just a lot of options that he has. He has options to go to the bar. Another option is to go to these different parties where he knows he, he's going to be tempted. There's a lot of different options around him. Um, and he has not learned how to um, work through these options. And that's why he's back off. That's why his, his recovery has fallen back. There's options for you as well. I'm going to say that you're fighting with him, though, with this five of wands. It's conflict here. There's options with you as well. You can, um, there's other people that would like to be with you. That's what I see your options are. He knows that, too. Like I said, he is insecure. He's very insecure, but he knows that. He knows that you have options as well. But he's got to stay clean and sober. So let's see. Why is this king of cups here? Show me spirit, guys. Ten of Wands, I told you. He has, this is what he's got to work on, his issues. His issues is causing him to drink. His issues is causing him to have all these options to make bad decisions. That Ten of Wands means his self-esteem. He's got to work on that. He needs um, therapy. He needs to work on that. Um, he feels like he's not good enough. He feels like he doesn't make enough money for you. All of these things he's got to work on so he can stay clean and sober. Because what he really he does a lot of emotion for you. He loved you so much. But he's got to work on the options because what you want is a family. You're ready to move into marriage, but not like he is now. He's got all these burdens, all these options, burdens. I mean, it's his mind is constantly twirling. So he turned to the alcoholism to numb it, to numb things. It's overwhelming for him. He's just got to get it together. So let's see why this two of wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the two of wands here? Page of Cups. He's offering you his love again. He's younger than you as well. Um, that Page of Cups there is there is there though. Page of Cups, he's a he's fun. You know all of that. But you know, you don't really know him a hundred percent when he's sober. I think that's also one of the things that worries him. He's wor he's worried that you won't like him when he's so when he's a hundred percent sober. But the Page of Cups is a young person. He's younger than you as well. But you still, you love him. So let's start here with the beginning of the moon card. The moon card is all about um, something appearing one way, but it's really not. 
because this this also represents the Pisces sun sign. But this moon card here says that something's not right. You know something's not right. Here's the two of pentacles here too. You're going back and forth with your emotions because this person that you've been with, you want a transformation with them. And the transformation you wanted was them to get clean and sober because they do have alcoholism problems. And you want to be married as well. You're ready. You want to be married with a family. You want your you want to be married with the family. You want them to be your plus one forever. But here's you are here you are with this conflict in the middle of this reading because you're fighting because of look at all these options they have. They're overwhelmed with options. They have the options, and I don't say that they're overwhelmed because they know that they can go to the bar. They can go kick it with their friends and drink. They have a drinking problem. The only way they're going to stay clean and sober is that they make the right options. They do the right things. They talk to their sponsor. They go to their meetings. They have all these other things they could be doing, and that's what they're doing. That's how they've fallen off this wagon. That's how they've fallen off the recovery because they've done all these other things. But they've got to get clean. They've got to get sober. You have options as well. There's other people that's coming for you as well. But here's the King of Cups. King of Cups is someone that's very insecure. He's insecure, very insecure with you, very insecure with you. And that's one of the things. Um, He's just insecure, period. But see, cause see, look at all the issues that he has with that Ten of Wands. He's burdened by all these issues. His mind is constantly twirling. He needs therapy as well. Um, lack of self-esteem. He feels like he doesn't have enough money. He doesn't feel like he's handsome. I mean, he's just one thing after another. And that's overwhelming to him. And that is why he falls off the wagon. Um, I do see the two of wands here, which means that you're you're unhappy. You're indecisive. You're unhappy. And here's the page of cups. He's offering his, he, he wants to start. He's giving, he's offering you his love again. But you can't really accept it yet because he has not been clean and sober for uh, an extended amount of time. So you can't really accept it. And here you see that page of cups there. That page of cups is, he's fun. But here's the deal. I don't think you really know how he is when he's sober. I really don't think you know how he is. I think he worries about that as well. So let's see here. Show me, Oracles. What do you want to tell my Virgos? It's up to you, Virgos. It's up to you. Show me, Oracles. What do you want to tell my Virgos? Let's see. Well, Virgos. Huh. It says big happy changes. Big happy changes. I think he's gonna stay on he's gonna he's gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. And it says a year from now. And I think he's gonna be okay. I think it's just taking some time, but he's going to be okay. Absolutely. And that's what I have for you, Virgo, for your love prediction reading.